He was able to keep UCLA within striking distance. First pitch is a strike. Bell tie on the outside in there to the left-handing, hitting Jonathan Kim. Sure with the base is empty. That is new. And a called strike three. Got him on an elevated breaking ball, and the long battle goes to Jewett. Jack Holman is at first, and Quint Landis is doing the catching as Mac Timbrook laces one to right center field. It's up against the wall. Run right into it first. Timbrook trots into second. He's got a one-out double. Check swing on a ball that gets through Landis' legs and all the way to the backstop. And Timbrook will advance to third. One, two, grounded through the right side of base hit. And Michigan is on the board. RBI base knock for Mitch Voigt. And on the road, the Wolverines able to strike in this first inning. Where he gets himself settled on the mound. Pitch clock approaching zero. He just gets it away, and there's a swing and a miss. And it came back to hurt. Breaking ball outside, taken for ball four by Caruso. Third base runner of the inning for Michigan. Jewett has this one off the end of the bat, hit into shallow center field. Gorson back, able to make the catch on the run, and that'll end the inning. Two and two to West. And this one is lined, caught at second. Nice play on the run by Mac Timbrook. No pitch. Is a line drive, base hit into center field, just past the reach of Cody Schreier at short. And there is the first hit of the season for Dylan Stanton. We'll head down to Irvine, and then everybody will get together on Sunday at Dodger Stadium as there's a line error caught by Cody Schreier at short. One on, two out, and the first pitch grounded towards second. Gorson charges, he flips with the glove to Schreier, covering the bag there. They force out Stanton, and that'll end the inning. Open stance from the left side for Gorson as he shoots one off the mound and into right center field. A base hit to lead off the second. And UCLA has its first hit of the game. One on, and no outs last of the second. And here's a jam shot pushed into center field. That's a base hit. Gorson round second. He's going to head for third. Kim's throw, not in time. It gets by the third baseman, Caruso, but it's backed up by Voigt, the pitcher. And UCLA now has runners on second and third with Chalowski able to advance himself into scoring position on that throw. They'll let that run score as there is one put right into the shift. Short hop to Timbrook. He'll throw out Holman at first, but that's enough to score Gorson. And UCLA has tied it up. It's one to one here in the second. Ray is the right-handed hitter, crouch stance. 1-1 fastball, hit high in the air to right field. This should be plenty deep enough as Pace Jr. is back underneath it. He makes the catch. He'll throw home, and it is not in time. Chalowski scores standing up. A sack fly for Dalen Reyes has given UCLA the 2-1 lead in the second. As he hits from the left side, this one is pulled on the ground right side. There's Tim Brooks scooping one up again, and he's able to throw out Brennan at first, and that'll end the inning. The pitch, fastball, and that is hit well to left field. Dean West back towards the gap that bounces up off the wall. Off of Karam, West hurls it back in, and it is a double for Cal Dernetti right on cue. He snaps that drought at the plate, and he is now in scoring position with one out in the fourth. Hold on. Swing and a miss. Got him on a breaking ball right on the inside, and Pace Jr. is retired. The pitch. And this one is pulled on the ground right to first. Holman up with it. He'll take it to the bag himself. And the threat is retired. Still three and two. Goebel's pitch. Check swing on a ball that gets all the way to the backstop. And Pace Jr. is going to reach. Fastball well off the outside, and Landis couldn't get it. Runner goes. Pitch well outside. No chance for a throw down to second. And so it's a stolen base for Greg Pace Jr., already his fifth this season. And this one bounces behind Landis, and that will advance Pace Jr. to take third to Mac Timbrook. First pitch fastball, chopped to the right side. This will score the run. Gorson throws out Timbrook at first, and we are tied to all here in the seventh. 
Quickly back on the rubber, into his motion. Deals, fastball, hit out to right field. Salgado didn't get a great look at it. He races back to the wall, he leaps. It's off the top of the wall. One of the doors comes open, Voigt to third. Voigt around third, he's gonna be held there. Mitch Voigt with a triple to right field here in the second inning. And with the rain and the low light, Salgado never got a great look at it. One and two, the pitch is a ground ball to second. Gorson to his right, has it cleanly. The throw to first is high, and it brings Holman off the bag. Michigan has taken the lead here in the seventh inning. It is three to two. Coming in at three and six on the year. And this is a line drive out to center field. Brennan got turned around, turned back around. He can't track the ball. It's up off the wall. Rounding third, Rustich will score. And into third, it's another triple. Cole Caruso and Michigan now leads four to two. The three two. High fastball for ball four. 0 oh, two, swing and a foul tip glove by Landis. A strikeout there of Stanton, and the inning is over. Five to one in the seventh in Corvallis. And here's a pitch airmailed all the way to the backstop. Chalowski is aboard on a four pitch walk. Just the second walk issued by Voigt just yet this season. And then a jam shot rolled to the left side of the infield, picked up by Caruso. He throws to first to retire Holman. That does serve to be a protector. Uh, a productive out with Chalowski advancing to second. As the 1-1 one -one is lined to center field. That'll get down for a base hit. Rounding third is Chalowski. He will score without a throw. And UCLA was back with it a run. The RBI single from Dalen Reyes. As Brennan stands in, 0 for 2 with a couple of ground outs. And here's a bouncing ball right to short. Stab by Dernetti. He takes it to the bag himself. And the inning is over. Check swing, and it's a called strike three. That one right on the outside corner. One and two to Jared Honky, and he strikes out. Salgado, dribbler up the first baseline. Rogers to take it, and he throws out Salgado by half a step. A little bit of indecision. It looked like Voigt was going to take it, and then he told Rogers to get it. And the catcher with a rifling throw down to first. Three balls, two strikes. Del Vecchio's pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball by him. Third strikeout for Del Vecchio. The one-two pitch. And it hit him. Just above the right knee, it clips Navarro. But now his speed on the bases. There's a pitch out, and it's off the glove of Duggar to the backstop. And Velasquez will get to second anyway. No pitch is skied out to left and shallow. Honking coming in. Now he's drifting back to his left, and he dropped it. Couldn't make the play. Oh, my goodness. Honking was under it, under it, and then realized at the last moment that he was out of position. No pitch is skied. Playable, foul ground, first base side. Duggar and Holman under it, and they collide. Duggar makes the play. Someone said they had it. Someone said ball, ball, ball. Uh, unsure if it was Duggar or Holman. At any rate, Duggar holds on to make the catch. And Michigan dugout making a ton of noise, and there's a swing and a miss. Ruff goes to the changeup to get the final out of the ninth inning. The overshift on against Schreier, the pitch. And that is lined to left field, but it's holding up. And it's over the head of Rustich. He tried to make the catch on the run. And Schreier is in the second with a double. Voigt with a look back to Schreier before throwing, and he strikes him out. A breaking ball bottoms out of the zone. Gorson down on strikes for the first time tonight. He's been great at the plate as well. The pitch, and it's a slow chopper on the left side. It's fielded by Caruso, the throw to first, in time for the out. Schreier still at second. Holman drives this to right. Pace underneath, he makes the catch, and that ends the game.
Cody Schreier left stranded on second, and Michigan with a three-run seventh tonight at Jackie Robinson Stadium.